Hello students, welcome back. So we are doing exercise 22B from trigonometry, isn't it? And we have completed till question number six in our previous video. And today we'll start right from question number seven onward. Okay, so let's begin. So this is question number seven from exercise 22B. Let's read out the instruction of the question first. Okay, in triangle ABC. So this is the triangle ABC. Okay. ABC angle ABC is 90 degree which means angle B is 90 degree okay B is in the middle so B must be 90 degree ABC angle B is 90 degree and angle CAB is X degree angle CAB A must be in the middle okay CAB CAB angle A is X degree this is given to us and tan x degree is 3 upon 4 this is also given to us tan x degree means 3 upon 4 the value of tan x degree is 3 upon 4 and bc is 15 centimeter the length of bc is 15 centimeter okay so we are asked to find ab and ac the length of ab and the length of ac okay so let's do this question now since tan x degree equals to tan theta means perpendicular upon base isn't it perpendicular is bc bc upon base is ab okay tan theta is perpendicular upon base or what is the value of tan x degree given to us tan x degree is 3 upon 4 tan x degree means 3 upon 4 this is given to us since tan x degree equals to 3 upon 4 okay now instead of tan x degree i write 3 upon 4 equals to bc bc is given to us 15 isn't it bc is 15 and what is ab ab is unknown to us so let us write ab or let us cross multiply and bring this ab to the numerator here ab equals to 15 is in the right hand side this 4 from the denominator goes to the numerator and this 3 from the numerator comes down to the denominator by cross multiplication okay or ab equals to 3 1s are 3 3 5s are 15 so 5 into 4 isn't it 5 4s are 20 centimeter we found ab ab is 20 centimeter okay now we have ab and we have bc in triangle abc okay we need hypotenuse AC, isn't it? Since AB equals to 20 centimeter, BC equals to 15 centimeter. Now we need AC, isn't it? AC equals to unknown to us. So let us apply Pythagoras theorem. Since AC square, hypotenuse square, AC is the hypotenuse opposite to 90 degrees, isn't it? Hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square that is BC square plus base square AB square okay H square equals to P square plus B square or what is AC AC unknown to us what is BC BC is 15 so 15 squared plus AB AB is 20 20 squared isn't it or AC squared equals to 15 squared is 225 plus 20 squared is 400. 15 15 is 225, 20 20 is 400. Okay. Or AC equals to, we add up this number, 0 plus 5 is 5, 0 plus 2 is 2, 4 plus 2 is 6. Now we take this square to the right hand side, root under. Okay. Therefore, AC equals to root under 6 to 5 means 25 because 25 squared gives us 6 to 5, isn't it? So root under 6 to 5 means 25, okay? So we were asked to find AB and AC. The value of AB is 20 centimeter and the value of AC is 25 centimeter, okay? So this is the answer for question number 7. Let's do question number 8, okay? Question number 8, using the measurements given in the following figure, Find the value of sine phi and tan theta. This is question number one of eight, okay? So this is the figure given to us, A, B, C, D. I draw a perpendicular line from the point D to the line A, B, okay? 
this line is perpendicular to line AB. So here we have 90 degree. Let us name this as E. Okay. You can see this is the rectangle BCDE is a rectangle, isn't it? Which means BC must be equal to ED, isn't it? B C D E B C D E is a rectangle, isn't it? Is a rectangle which means opposite sides are equal. B C must be equal to E D. B C must be equal to E D equals to 12 centimeter, isn't it? Because B C is given to us 12, E D must be 12. Okay. And this side CD must be equal to B, the opposite side, breadth, isn't it? And CD must be equal to BE. And we don't know CD or BE, isn't it? CD equals to BE. We don't know CD. So let us find CD first, okay? In right angle triangle DBC, you can see a right angle triangle, right angled at this point, DBC. We can see base, we can see hypotenuse, let us find perpendicular, applying Pythagoras theorem, okay? Since in triangle DBC, 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 perpendicular square equals to, CD is perpendicular, perpendicular square equals to hypotenuse square, BD square, okay? Hypotenuse is BD, hypotenuse square minus BC square, BC square, isn't it? Or CD square equals to, what is BD? BD is 13, 13 squared minus BC is 12, 12 squared. Or CD squared equals to, 13 squared is 169, minus 12 square is 144 13 13 is a 169 12 12 is a 144 okay so cd equals to root under we take this square to the right hand side becomes root 169 minus 144 isn't it so 9 minus 4 is 5 okay so this is 6 6 minus 4 is 2 and this is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so we don't write this therefore CD equals to root under 25 means 5. 5 5 is a 25, isn't it? So we found CD as 5, which means BE also 5, isn't it? CD equals to BE equals to 5 centimeter, okay? So please take the screenshot. Now let us find AE also, okay? Let me continue here. Since AE equals to AE. AE A E equals to total AB minus EB or BE. AB, if you subtract BE from AB, we get AE, isn't it? So, total AB, AB, total length AB minus this length BE minus BE equals to A. So what is AB? AB is given to us 14 minus what is BE? BE we found 5, isn't it? Because CD and BE are equal. 14 minus 5, 14 minus 5 is 9, isn't it? So 9 centimeter. So AE is 9 centimeter, okay? Now, let us, please take the screenshot, let us do this sum, okay? So, we are asked to find the value of sine phi and tan theta first. So, sine phi means we are talking about this angle. Since sine phi equals to sine theta means perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Some people have. So, when we talk about this angle, this is base. Okay. This is hypotenuse. The remaining side is perpendicular. C D is perpendicular. B C is base. Okay. So, Perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Perpendicular means CD upon hypotenuse means BD. So this gives us CD is 5 and BD is 13. So this is the answer for sine phi. 
Now tan theta. Tan theta, we are talking about this angle, tan theta. When we are talking about this angle, this is 90 degrees, isn't it? This AE becomes base, this becomes perpendicular, AD is the hypotenuse, okay, longest side. So tan theta means perpendicular upon base. So the sides containing the angle is base and hypotenuse, isn't it? The opposite side is perpendicular. So tan theta is perpendicular upon base means ED upon AE. ED is the perpendicular and AE is the base. So what is ED? ED is 12, isn't it? Because this side BC and ED are the opposite sides of rectangle BCDE. So this is 12. Okay. So ED is 12 upon AE. AE is 9. So this is an improper fraction. We can convert this into mixed fraction. Okay. This equals to 9 1 the 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 3 1 the 3. 3 3 the 9. 1 all 1 upon 3. Okay. 9 1 the 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 upon 9. If you didn't understand this, please look at here. 9 1 the 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. So this 1 remains here. This remainder goes to the numerator. This divisor comes here. So 1 whole 3 upon 9. So 3 1 the 3. 3 3 the 9. This means 1 whole 1 upon 3. Okay. So this is the answer for question number 1 of Eight, okay now let us do question number two the question number two of eight write an expression for ad in terms of theta so we are asked to write the expression of ad in terms of theta so ad is the hypotenuse for triangle aed isn't it triangle aed ad is the hypotenuse so trigonometrical identities that includes hypotenuse are sine theta cos theta cosec theta and sec theta isn't it so let us write that since first is sine theta sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse because we are asked to express ad ad is hypotenuse okay and cos theta is base upon hypotenuse curly brown hair isn't it some people have curly brown hair so sine theta sine theta equals to what is perpendicular when we talk about this angle perpendicular becomes ed isn't it perpendicular upon base sorry hypotenuse perpendicular upon hypotenuse ad ad so sine theta equals to ed upon ad or sine theta let me bring this ad to the numerator and take the sine theta to the denominator okay ad equals to ed upon the sine theta goes to the denominator isn't it ad equals to ed upon instead of ad ad i brought here sine theta and the denominator cross multiplication ed upon sine theta or ad equals to what is ed ed is ed is 12 so i write 12 ed is 12 ed is 12 okay and sine theta, if I take this sine theta to the numerator, it becomes cosec theta. Isn't it? Because sine theta and cosec theta are reciprocal of each other. Since sine theta equals to 1 upon cosec theta and cosec theta equals to 1 upon sine theta. Okay. If I bring the sine theta to the numerator, it becomes cosec theta. So sine theta I brought to the numerator, it becomes cosec theta it became cosec theta okay so ad equals to 12 into cosec theta now from here this is one expression another cos theta equals to cos theta cos theta equals to what is base when we talk about this angle base is ae isn't it base upon hypotenuse hypotenuse is ad okay so let me bring this ad here and take cos theta to the denominator by cross multiplication ad equals to ae by cos theta or ad equals to 
What is A E? A E is 9. A E is 9, isn't it? So cos theta is in the denominator. Let me take to the numerator. It becomes sec theta. Okay? Because sec theta and cos theta are reciprocal of each other. Sec theta is 1 upon cos theta. And cos theta is 1 upon sec theta. Okay? So if I bring this cos theta to the numerator, it becomes sec theta. So cos theta when brought to the numerator becomes sec theta. AD equals to 9 sec theta. So these two are the expressions of AD in terms of theta. I hope you got this. Now let us do question number 9. Number 9. In the given figure, BC equals to 15 centimeters. So this is the given figure. BC is 15 centimeter. And sine B equals to 4 upon 5. Okay. Sine of angle B equals to 4 upon 5. These two are the given conditions. Calculate the measures of AB and AC. So we are asked to find AB and AC. Question number 1 of 9. Okay. So let us do this question. Let us suppose the length of AC as X. Okay. Let in triangle ABC, the smaller one. Okay. A B C and leave the triangle of this side. A B C in triangle A B C let A C equals to X centimeter. Okay. Now applying Pythagoras theorem A B square A B square equals to perpendicular square plus base square AB is the hypotenuse isn't it because this is 90 degree and opposite to 90 degrees AB AB is hypotenuse hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square means AC square plus base square means BC square BC square okay or AB whole squared equals to AC is X okay so X squared plus b c is 15 so 15 squared a c squared plus b c squared or a b equals to so x squared here plus 15 squared is 2 to 5 isn't it 2 to 5 now we take this square to the right hand side becomes root under x squared plus 2 to 5 so we found a b isn't it a b is x squared plus 2 to 5 root under x square plus 2 to 5 so we found a b now since given condition is tan of angle a b c isn't it not tan sine sine of angle b sine of angle b b means sine of angle b means a b c this angle okay sine of angle b equals to 4 upon 5 this is given to us isn't it so sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so what is perpendicular perpendicular is ac ac upon hypotenuse hypotenuse is ab ab equals to 4 upon 5 isn't it or let's put the value of ac ac is x and what is AB? AB is root under x square plus 2 to 5. This equals to 4 upon 5, isn't it? So we cross multiply this, okay? 5 into x, 5 into x, 5x, or this whole number into 4 equals to 4 into root under x square plus 2 to 5 x square plus 2 to 5 isn't it 5 into x is 5x okay so 4 into this is 4 into root under x square plus 2 to 5 now squaring both sides we square both sides of this equation squaring both sides we get 5 square is 25 x square is x square equals to 4 square is 16 this square is for both the numbers okay 4 squared is 16 into root under x square plus 2 to 5 whole square means x square plus 2 to 5 okay because we know root 2 squared equals to 2 root x squared 
equals to x isn't it so root under this squared equals to this okay root gets cancelled with the square this root and square gets cancelled okay similarly this root and square gets cancelled now 25 x square equals to 16 into x square 16 x square plus 16 into 2 to 5 16 into 2 to 5 okay or let us bring the 16 x square to the left hand side 25 x square minus 16 x square equals to 16 into 2 to 5 16 into x square is 16 x square 16 into 2 to 5 is 16 to 2 to 5 okay or let me subtract this because this is positive and this is negative 25 x square minus 16 x square is 9 x square equals to 16 into 2 to 5 or x square equals to 16 into 2 to 5 upon this 9 goes to the denominator isn't it let me continue here or x equals to x equals to this square goes to the right hand side and becomes root under root under 16 into 2 to 5 16 into 2 to 5 upon 9 okay this square when taken to the right hand side becomes root and this root applies to both the numerator and denominator okay or x equals to root under 16 means 4 okay 4 for the 16 so root under 2 to 5 means 15 15 15 is 2 to 5 and root under 9 means 3 isn't it so 3 1 is 3 3 5 is 15 or x equals to 4 into 5 is 20 so we found x the value of x is 20 okay value of x is 20 centimeter so we are asked to find ac ac is 20 centimeter now ab please take the screenshot okay i'm erasing this now so ab ab equals to since ab equals to we have root under x square plus 2 to 5 isn't it root under x square plus 2 to 5 ab equals to ab equals to root under x square plus 2 to 5 root under x square plus 2 to 5 or a b equals to root under what is x x is 20 isn't it so instead of x square i write 20 squared plus 2 to 5 or a b equals to root under 20 squared means 400 2 to the 4 0 single 0 square double 0 plus 2 to 5 or a b is a b equals to 400 plus 2 to 5 is 6 to 5 6 to 5 isn't it 400 200 625 now therefore a b equals to root under 6 to 5 means 25 isn't it therefore we found therefore a b equals to 25 and a c equals to 20 isn't it a c is 20 so we were asked to find the value of ab and ac ab is 25 and ac is 20 centimeter okay both are centimeter i hope you got this now let us do question number two okay let us do question number two of nine now if tan of angle adc equals to one okay this angle tan of angle adc equals to one this is the given condition calculate the measures of cd and ad so we are asked to find cd and ad okay so ac we have found ac is 20 centimeter isn't it 20 centimeter okay centimeter 25 centimeter now since tan of angle adc adc okay when we talk about this angle cd becomes base ac becomes perpendicular isn't it so tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base so what is perpendicular perpendicular is ac and what is base base is cd okay or what is tan of angle adc tan of angle adc is 1 given to us so instead of tan of angle adc we write 1 
equals to AC. AC is known to us 20. 20. And what is CD? CD is unknown to us. Let us write CD. Or CD into 1 cross multiplication. Okay. CD into 1. CD equals to 20 centimeter. So the value of CD is also 20 centimeter. Okay. 20 centimeter. Now let us find AD. So you can see a right angle triangle ACD right angle at this point angle C isn't it in a right angle triangle triangle ACD okay hypotenuse square equals to hypotenuse is AD isn't it hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square that is AC squared plus base squared CD squared isn't it or what is AD AD is unknown to us we are trying to find AD squared equals to AC AC is 20 squared plus what is CD CD is also 20 so 20 squared isn't it now let me continue here okay so AD squared AD squared equals to 20 squared is 400 2 2 is a 4 single 0 square means double 0 plus so again 20 squared 2 2 is a 4 single 0 square is double 0 okay so AD equals to 400 plus 400 800 isn't it we take this square to the right hand side becomes root under so AD equals to root under 800 okay or AD equals to root under 8 into 100 isn't it 8 into 100 is 800 or AD equals to square root of 100 is square root of double zero is single zero isn't it so 10 square root of 100 is 10 10 10 is 100 isn't it so into so 8 means 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 isn't it AD equals to we make pair of 2 okay and free from the root so this pair comes out of the root 2 into this 2 doesn't have any pair so this 2 remains within the bracket or AD equals to 10 to the 20 root 2 centimeters so this is the answer you can put the value of root 2 okay or AD equals to 20 into root 2 means 1.414 so this is the value of root 2 1.414 or AD equals to 2 for the 8 2 1 the 2 2 for the 8 2 1 the 2 so we have 0 here let us put this 0 here there is a decimal point before 1 2 3 digit number isn't it there is a decimal point before three digit number so we put a decimal point before one two three so 28.280 isn't it 28.280 which means therefore ad equals to zero has no value after decimal point 28.28 28.28 okay so we were asked to find cd and ad so cd is 20 centimeter and ad is 28.8 centimeter 28.28 centimeter okay 28.28 centimeter now let us do question number three of nine okay question number three of nine okay also so that tan square b minus one upon cos square b equals to minus one so we are asked to prove this expression equals to minus one okay tan square b minus one upon cos square b equals to minus one now LHS of the equation since LHS equals to left hand side equals to tan square b minus 1 upon cos square b isn't it. So tan square b we are talking about angle b okay tan theta means perpendicular upon base isn't it. So perpendicular is AC upon base is BC whole squared 
because we have a squared here minus 1 upon cos b again this angle so cos theta means base upon hypotenuse so what is base when we talk about this angle base is bc base upon hypotenuse what is hypotenuse hypotenuse is ab ab isn't it whole squared or ac upon bc whole squared minus this minus i write here okay now this ab goes to the numerator ab upon this bc comes down to the denominator bc whole squared okay 1 upon a upon c if we have number like this then we write 1 into this c upon a isn't it so 1 into c is c c upon a 1 upon a upon c is c upon a okay similarly this 1 upon bc upon ab is ab upon bc so we have a squared here so we square the number now let us put the value okay so what is ac ac is 20 isn't it 20 upon what is bc bc is 15 whole squared okay ac is 20 bc is 15 minus what is ab ab is 25 and what is bc bc is 15 whole squared so 20 squared is 400 2 squared is 4 single 0 squared is double 0 15 squared is 225 15 15 is 225 minus this minus i write here 25 squared is 6 to 5 25 into 25 gives 25 into 25 gives us 6 to 5 15 squared is 2 to 5 okay 2 to 5 now let me continue here since we have same number in the denominator so the lcm will be 2 to 5 okay so in the numerator we write 400 400 minus 6 to 5 this is minus okay minus 6 to 5 this gives us 6 to 5 minus 400 5 minus 0 is 5 2 minus 0 is 2 6 minus 2 is 4 sorry 6 minus 4 isn't it 6 minus 4 is 2 so the greater number has minus sign we put minus here upon 2 to 5 so this and this can be cancelled so we have minus 1 okay so minus 1 so this is minus 1 which is equal to rss isn't it this equals to rhs proved okay i hope you got this okay this was for today Thank you so much, stay connected and practice well, okay? I'll upload the rest of the questions in the next video. Thank you so much.